in math, it's very important to understand that the different types of numbers. The different types of numbers are also called number systems or general number sets. What these are is it's generally all the different types of numbers, their groupings and classifications, which is very important to know for word problems and directions. So the important aspects that we're going to be looking at for the different types of numbers is its label, or what we would call it using math vocabulary, the math symbol that is used for it, some examples outlining that number set, its general form, what it looks like in general, a student definition to help students easy, uh, to make it easier for them to understand, a mathematical definition, a more concise definition, any learning insights, and this one's real important to help students be able to remember each of the different types of number sets, the graphical or visual representation representing that number set, and its size. Its size meaning is it countable or uncountable? If it's countable, that's going to be smaller than uncountable. Uncountable is infinitely big and countable is infinitely big but we can count it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these types of numbers. The first type of numbers are the natural numbers. This is going to be the smallest number set. The natural numbers has the symbol of a bolded N. We can draw this by just drawing an extra line on the N itself. Some examples of natural numbers are 1, 2, 3 going in order and these dots represent that it continues on as far as we can count. In general we would represent the natural numbers as the letter N n plus 1, n plus 2, and these would count and continue on forever. So we can just imagine or plug in any number we want in for n, and let's just use the example of 5, and if n is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8, so it would be 5, 6, 7, 8, and it would go in order, counting it. The numbers of nature. Notice that it has the word natural. It looks like the word nature. This will help you remember natural numbers are the numbers of nature. The counting numbers. We can count these numbers. These are the first types of numbers that mankind were created because we saw things in nature and we were able to count them. That's why they're called the natural numbers or counting numbers. In nature, there are only objects that can be counted, the natural numbers. Let's look at the graph of the natural numbers. The graph starts at 1, 2, 3, 4, and it continues on forever. This is going to be the smallest number set, and the natural numbers can be counted. You can count these, 1, 2, 3, 4, and keep counting, so you can count how many there are. Even though it continues on forever, they can be counted. The next biggest number set are the whole numbers. The symbol for the whole numbers is a bolded W, which can be drawn as a W with a line through either side of it. The examples of the whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and as far as we can count. The general form of these numbers looks like the same as the natural numbers being n, n plus 1, n plus 2. It goes in order. So whatever number we pick for n, the next successive number would be by adding 1 to it, then 2, then 3. Let's look at the example of 8. 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 2 is 10. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8, 9, 10, 11 as far as we can count. These are also the numbers of nature, but we're including the number zero now. So it's exactly like the natural numbers, except for whole numbers have the zero. So the mathematical definition would be counting numbers and zero. 
Well, to help you remember whole numbers, just remember the number zero. The number zero looks like a hole, and the word whole has hole in it. So whole numbers are the first set of numbers with zero in it. So you can even underline whole to help you remember whole numbers. The number line looks like a normal number line, but it starts at zero. Zero, one, two, three, as far as we can count. The arrow represents that it continues on forever. This is the second smallest number set. And since we can count it, whole numbers are countable. The next type of numbers are the integers. The integers are represented with the bolded letter Z. Some examples of the integers are starting at negative infinity, as far as we can count into negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, then as far as we can count going towards positive infinity. For integers, it's good to think of it as starting at 0, going both directions, going in the positive direction and going in the negative direction. So counting from there, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, counting that way, and 0, 1, 2, 3, counting this way. To represent the integers, it's, let's just go ahead and look at it starting at n. n is here, then n plus 1, n plus 2, going in the positive direction. Then in the negative direction, it's subtracting 1, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. So if we think of n as the number 1, if we subtract 1 from it, we get 0. Subtract 2 from it, we get negative 1 going in this direction. If n is 1 and we add 1 to it, n plus 1 is 2, n plus 2 is 3, going in that direction. So n can be any number, and these are the successive numbers in both directions. The integers are all the negative and positive regular numbers and 0. As a mathematical definition, we would use the vocabulary that we now have Integers are zero, the natural numbers, and the negative natural numbers. Integers are the most important types of numbers to learn. These are our foundation numbers, negatives and positives. So memorize them first. Integers, there's no real trick to learning them, so it's important to memorize them first. This is also the only type of numbers without the numbers, without the word numbers in its label. They're just called integers. It's also the first type of numbers that has a letter representing it that doesn't begin with it. Well, the graph of the integers, once again, we would start at the number zero, and it goes one, two, three, going on to positive infinity and go in the other direction, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, going on to negative infinity. Since you can count them starting at 0, integers are countable. 